Year General. The visit was to further deepen the relationship between the sector ministry and Media General. The Ketsi call by Kojo Opon Nkrumah and his entourage is part of the effort by the Information Ministry to discuss challenges facing the industry and determine how best to bridge the gaps. Group CEO of Media General. Beatrice Ajiman Abe, in welcoming the minister and his team, urged Kojo Opon Nkrumah to continue to play his facilitating role. I would like that your doors are open more than it's opened now. For the space that you occupy, you, we need each other, as you know, to, to work effectively. You should help facilitate our work, especially when elections is coming. You would have to respond to a lot of issues as promptly as you can. Um, you are lucky to work with platforms like Media General, where, where we believe in balance and truth and authenticity. You will not get that anywhere. I'm sure you're calling on us because of who we are, because of what we stand for. The minister observed. The visit was to deepen the relationship between the two entities. We have said a cordial relationship works well for us. Also, very importantly, in tackling some of the industry challenges and the emerging challenges in the industry, the various stakeholders, we believe it's important to uh, work together with stakeholders to tackle some of those um, uh, challenges. Uh, some of those specifics, we will get the support um, across board. I also like to commend um, you guys for um, the sense of balance in the work that um, you do. Um, I think it's quite obvious that there is a general sense of balance. You always try to get the other side. It's not as though you have something that you want to achieve with what you are doing. Uh, I think it's commendable and uh, we also look forward to continuing that relationship with you. The minister and his team also visited the MG newsroom where he interacted with the newsmakers. Kojo Opon Nkrumah assured the ministry is interested in building the capacity and standards as well as ensuring the safety of journalists. A good journalist is the one who continuously builds his capacity to do an excellent job. But what we've done is to create a platform that puts the various stakeholders, your leaders and leaders across the industry, we are not competing, we are collaborating, to identify some of the gaps in the industry, to design some of the standard uh, training programs that can close those gaps. Uh, whatever the reason may be, I think our view is quite clear that, uh, yes, you may have a challenge with a journalist's work. A journalist can even make a mistake by the avenues of addressing those mistakes. And that attacks on journalists are not uh, the way to even express those sentiments of displeasure. On the issue of the kidnapped Takradi girls, the minister noted it is on the front banners of the police service. One suspect that they had been tracking was arrested, I think, in Togo quite recently, was extradited to Ghana and has been remanded in custody. And what the police tell us is that that is evidence of the fact that they have still got their eye on that ball. It may not be as quickly as all of us desire. It's a very heart-wrenching story any time um, it comes up. But the fact that quite recently they were able to still do an arrest on it and get the person remanded, which they would have preferred would have been on the quiet because then it leads them to other persons that they would have managed to apprehend and finally get to the bottom of it um, is evidence that that, uh, that investigation is still active. And I cannot say anything beyond that on an uh, active uh, investigation.